ladies and gentlemen, welcome round two. Alright, uh, as you remember, we were about to get our ass whooped by a freaking rebellion already. It's like three years in and they're already pissed off enough uh, to rise up. Uh, well, that's okay, so let's go ahead and push play here and then we're going to cont continue, uh, hopefully, going in for Die Fed, Glamorgan, and Gwent today in our hour session. So, uh, let's see what the hell happens. I'm, uh, looking forward to it here. But first, we must prepare while this is, uh, loading up here. So, uh, just ignore the sound. Alright, look at that. Oh, that's right, that's right. We had just raised the levees. But I want this to be over quick and painlessly, because I want control of that shit. So, we're sending him up there. And because we've been saving our money non-stop, we're going to do something cheap and dirty here to win this. Really? Only a thousand, huh? Ah, there we go. Yeah. These guys have already been used, so they've lost like 500. And so they're still seven per month. They're only going to cost 75 to start. But so are these guys, and they're going to cost less per month. But they've got their full complement already. So let's bring them on in. So we're going to hit start right away, and we're going to combine all of them all into one big army there. So let's pause it and see what's going on. So the, the, our son-in-law, another guy who we had married our daughter to, is this the same one? This woman, she is dangerous, look at this. First one died of, died of being a main cripple. No, that was just the last one. He died of a suspicious accident, and the next one died because of the name cripple. All right, you are just a black widow woman. Let's send you off to murder the next one. Who is lucky lucky number three? All right, the Earl of Athol. Good luck, buddy. Oh, he's a bastard. Legitimized. Good luck, buddy. You're done. You're done. Oh, that's going to give us an alliance with Scotland, too. Sweet. We're just allied with everyone right now. That's good. Except for these little bitches and all these guys. We want these guys. We want to attack these guys. These guys are good to be allies with. We could jump in a war, I believe, here. Offer to join war. How much troops do we have? All our troops are out somewhere. Oh, right in front of my face. Jesus. Uh, we got 2,400 out there. Could we, uh, do they need our help? Oh, that would probably help him. Well, let's see what happens with our own little civil war here, and then maybe we'll go help him real quick, depending on our funding. Alright, off she goes to cause some more damage. Alright, I think we might be able to win this one. Uh, let's keep our Chancellor happy. Alright, let's pause it. So as you can see, he's coming down here. We'll arrive on August 25th. However, we got the biggest force. Now this is one thing you guys gotta learn uh, as you're learning and going through fighting each other. Um, watch what will happen when the, the larger force attacks the destination. Oh, he freaks out and stops. So, he starts over and he's got until September 8th. We go and attack him. We're going to arrive on September 1st. So we are going to catch him. Oh no, I'm ill. This is no good. I'm in the middle of this, and I'm ill. All right. So we shall see what shortly happens. As we push play. Victory. We only lost 45 there. Not bad. <coughs> it's a good trade off there. 
So to end this quick, quickly, as you can see, that, that was a major victory. So we're just going to put his army out of its misery real quick. <coughs> He's, I need to do Spy Master. Would he be better? Current Spy Master. <coughs> is a 10. He is a 19. And he is my new Spy Master. So he needs to be assigned real quick. No, he doesn't. He's currently fighting. I could stop that, but <coughs> we'll take advantage of it for now. We're just going to put these troops out of their misery. There they go. So, as you can see, 60% of this fight, you can always check the uh, the war score here. This is where you can go and offer peace terms. Right now, I want to enforce my demands. He says no. He still has untouched armies and holdings. Well, let's go fix that. Ooh. The ongoing civil war has caused both loyal veterans and various adventurers to make their way to Gwynedd for the muster. So, I'm getting 550 free men. Or, sorry, 831 <coughs> free men to go kick the crap out of them a little quicker. We're going to put this away very quickly. Actually, right now, I think with that being said, just to save some money, we're going to turf those mercenaries. Yeah. Combine the two armies. We still have 1,600. We're going to win this. Now our money can increase going back up. Mercenaries are co very, very costly to keep going, guys, so be careful. Um, that's the last thing you need to happen here. Oh, I think I forgot my timer. I did. All right. Uh, so, we'll just continue that. The attack weakens. That's no good. We lose some troops, but it's okay. As you can see, 1549 still outweighs 816. I'm going to go a little slower with my mouse movements in this game, on, in this one, just because uh, last time I saw it looked a little choppy. So I'm still working on some settings, but uh, hopefully a bunch of you guys will start watching this and showing it to people if it helped you. So this community is all about helping each other. This is one of the most complicated and rewarding games you'll ever play. But if something helps, pass it along. Ah, we lose more troops, damn it. But we're going to win here. Oh, let's pause that real quick. we got something going on. One child lacks a guardian. It's gruffeted. My grandson. Well, we need to keep him Welsh. We need to keep him going strong. Who's this? My niece. No, alright, we want st going strong here. My brother. No, no. Let's go with uh, the ranking here. Maybe we can help our uh, help ourselves along with that bishop, for example. Yeah, see, he's still Welsh, which is great. He's a mastermind theology, like, which is not bad. When I said uh, the game's about longevity, going the route about the learning group can can be great. You can out tech if you focus on that. But so many people in this game focus on getting brilliant strategists and great martial ability to take over more, whereas the slow technology guy can eventually kick the crap out of people. Do not mock technology in this game. Having the one-up can be painful. Anyway. Here we go. Continue it. Oh, I'm supposed to be selecting a guardian. Right, right, right. So what we're going to do is we're... It's not a bad choice to do that. It's going to increase his by 20, which might get us a little bit closer to him paying us instead. As you can see, the one is still paying us because he loves us ever so much. But this guy is still 63 to 26. Is there anything else we can do to increase this? We could send him a gift. Not worth the reward. We can give him a title because we still have a few of those to give away, which might get it closer. But, uh, being said, where is he? Lang Langolan. I bet you that's here. There it is. So we'll send the guy who was improving religious relations there and we'll send him down to here. Maybe he can do the same there. So, right, 
erase some of these. Just wait for this siege to finish. Yup, yup. Oh, my brother is concerned. Well, yeah, he's got no claims. Who cares about him? So let's just uh, marry him off to some hag. No claims, no nothing. It's just my brother, so we'll send him down to you. Yeah, he'll get some uh, Portuguese ass there. I went to Catholic school in a, in a city full of Portuguese. He's not losing out. I will find him something nice. Nice way to cheat some uh, nice rep for him there. Yay. It's all happy. And she arrived. Who cares? Our holding... Well, all right, that's just old. All right, continue again. This siege is almost over. That should put it from 63. Pretty much in the bag for us. Yeah, 99. He'll give up in a second. Oh, there's the 100. My son. Oh, this this is my second son. This is important. He needs a wife. A good wife. He's a skilled tactician. He could... He could do this. He could be important. So, we're going to arrange marriage for him. Oh. Where is he? Oh, there we go. That's that's the list we want to work with. Yeah, we want England to stay away from us. We want to can right right now they could just pretty much steamroll us. As you saw, he had twenty three thousand troops. So we need him to be dispute fighting with someone else before we could even start playing with them. As you can see, they're not. If you ever want to find out who someone's attacking, or who someone's at war with, you come click on their on their province, and under here will list everything. So right now, as you click on mine, as you can see, it says, I'm defending against Count Edwin of Perfect Wad. Perfect Wad? Really? Woo! Um, and, uh, right, oh, here it is. He says, offering peace. So, this is what happens when uh, he offers peace. He's going to lose 200 prestige. He's going to go to jail. Uh, someone else is going to go to jail too. Maroud. Sure. We'll just set that up right now to take a look who's coming. And I gain 100 prestige from my war contribution. We'll accept your terms, sir. Yay. So there's an open council because he was my open council. But now here's the nice thing. I was trying to revoke it from him, but he just went and, you know, he did most of the work for us, so we're going to go to his diplomacy screen here, and because he's a traitor, a dirty, dirty traitor, no one's going to care if I take away his province from him. Thanks, bud. Mission accomplished. You did, you done good. So now I get your monies. Just like that for defeating you in combat. So spending the 75 plus the maintenance for a few months on those mercenaries wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Let's just put our troops away there. It's always good. So, you know, it's not bad. We're still one up, technically, because now we get the money from this directly. We're not getting undercut. A nice, good, nice thing of being in control of all these. Theoretically, we're going to be able to change some laws here pretty quick once that last one, you know, wears off. Uh, ten years, so that's going to be ten seventy-six uh, when we can start changing this the uh, the laws to what we need them to be. Otherwise, uh, as you can see right now, my first son gets my my kingdom and my county petty kingdom in my county and then my next son gets powers and then the next son will get the one we just got however because I'm at the point where I could die anytime I don't want to splinter my my thing so I'm going to take a risk here and uh, grant my uh, loving son here oh right 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 I can't do this with gavel kind I need to wait it out. This is where I, this is where it's uh, risky business for me. That's right. It's happened before me in, in previous starts on an easier setting than this, where it kicked my butt. So just always be humble that how this game can ruin you 
Anytime. Alright, so this guy wants to be Spy Master because he's the most qualified, and even though he sucks, we'll just send him off to go scam some stuff here. Uh, we're three for three on our thing here, however, are we the... No. There's no castles here. We wouldn't be the, uh... We wouldn't be the heir to any of you. Alright, let's continue. Right. Ha! I guess I did succeed. That's funny, I'm glad the game recognized uh, that inadvertently I did just succeed with my plot. Seems kind of useless. Do we kill her? No, 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 no. Oh, this guy don't like us no more because we took his stuff away. Now, how about we just release him? Say goodbye. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he's kind of useless to us now, so... Who cares about him? Uh, it's, who else was in there? Don't remember why this guy was. My nephew. Well, let's just leave him in there because he's got claims on places and I don't like that. So we'll just leave him rot there. He's not really worth much to us. Okay, that's right. We are now still allies with the uh, with England. Which is good. Okay. This is starting to get ridiculous. Yeah, we're just going to fire the old one. I don't know why we didn't check this sooner. Screw his opinion of us. 15 is way better than 10. Get refabricating down there. We need the points. Hurry up. Uh, let's just fast erase those. Alright. So we are still waiting. However, we do control all three of these. Um, we can't die until for another six years. So we need to make it into our 50s, which is good. We're still doing okay. We were sick there, but... We're okay for now. Um, let's check our vassal's opinion across the board. See, he would probably pay a little more if we, his opinion was up a little higher. Uh, we kind of clash me in this game. Now, you have to watch out for people who are envious. As you can see there, it's minus 15. Uh, they don't take to your success very well. And then uh, you have to look out for people who are ambitious. Avoid giving people who are ambitious anything. Don't give them an, a, a title. Don't give them land. Don't give them squat. They just... They're bad news. Assassinate them if you can. Uh, this guy seems important to get to love us. And there is apparently another one we can give him here, which is good. Yeah, we're still trying to improve down there ourselves. See, this is where it might be worth it. So that'll take us up to 65. What's his opinion again? Go back and check our vassals. 65 would be higher than that, and we'd start getting his money, but that's so close. Ah, we'll wait for this to pay off down here. Uh, let's check our technology really quick, see how we're doing there. We got some points coming. Oh, look, we could finish one off, technically. So if we want all our feudal vassals to go up plus four. So as you can see right now, if we click on here, go to his opinion. Is it there? Personal diplomacy? No, it's, is it plus three? Oh, we got to find it somewhere. Let's check if that's it. Plus three. No, it's feudal vassal opinion. Probably was. It's not my vassal. Province technology plus four. Is that what we get from here? Plus two. We're getting the plus four already. Oh, was I, was I just looking? See, you guys did hear me hit the bull, so I'm getting a little dumber, right? Yeah, that's a mayor. So his his state technology is plus, uh, plus four. Province technology makes his opinion of us plus four. 
And from the technology perspective, that comes from popular customs there under the culture advances on. So third row, second down. We'll highlight it now. Uh, because it's already successfully level 2, on its way to level 3, it gets plus 4. All the way to a maximum of plus 16. And that really, really helps for when it comes to increasing your taxes, because that produces an extra negative automatically. And there's so many things that can modify it. Wait until our name is everywhere and we kill some one of our own. Kinslayer's gonna ruin us. Anyway, do we want to finish it this early with it? No, we want to save for uh, for completion of something worth it, like legalism, which is uh, legalism is one of the best ones because it, in my opinion, because it increases the short reign years, but uh, it also does increase your personal personal demesne or demence or how the hell you want to pronounce it, people. Uh, which is this up here? How many we're allowed to hold ourselves? Anyway, let's continue. Uh, right. Let's increase that speed up there and get some events going on. I don't care that we created the master of the horse there. What do we got? Come on. Give us what we are. Oh, we got a betrothed canary. It's our son with a French wench. Uh, yeah, let's take that wedding that we set up. More allies, more allies. At one point, we could always just, uh, if things get stale, and uh, uh, advancement gets tough, uh, there's some things that you can do to uh, ensure that you can, you're just creating a, a larger dynasty. Remember, this is not necessarily a, a divide and conquer game. Uh, you don't have to take on big bad, I don't, wouldn't have to take on big bad England right now if I didn't want to. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to divert them. No, I'm not going to give my nephew a title. Oh, let's mention a church career. That'll get him all mad at me. Let's see what happens. He's at 45 right now. I mentioned a church career. We hit time. We selected again. Ooh, we're down to 20. Denied a title. Minus 25. Ooh. Go in a corner and cry it out, son. All right, come on. Do your magic down here, guys. Come on. We need your work. Want over. We can still attack this. Under what cause? My other nephew. I don't like that. Who's his heir? Huh. Right, so he's his heir, and he has no children. So, let's get a crazy plot going here. Let's try to kill his heir off right now. See if anyone will join in on that uh, tasty game. No one wants to join in on that tasty game. Alright, let's see why. Well, oh, that one's definitely not going to happen. That one's definitely not going to happen. That one could happen. That one could very much happen. He could kill his brother. What do we got to do? Oh, that could probably do it. Not worth it in the grand scheme of things early this on just to have some fun. No. We're, uh, we should be focusing here on a little more uh, tactful full approach. All right, can we build anything that's worthwhile yet? That's uh, not used to this Welsh being <coughs> this far off. I'm digging it. Um, wow, I'm really not used to them being this well off this early. It's nice that I can raise about 2,500 troops. We just gotta, we gotta get the troops back going here. Uh, every now and then, you guys, you'll see this crappy thing pop up. No windows genuine. Sucks to be me. Uh, so I might click it and tab out by accident. You'll probably all laugh. It's fun. 
Uh, where are we here? Technology? No, we're not. So we're not going to increase that. We're going to wait. Do we want to increase that? No. These are the ones that uh, are important to me. The improved keeps is good to have there, which is asking for keep three uh, and more higher walls, which take makes people uh, longer to siege you. But that that should finish on its own anytime soon. So we're gonna wait to uh, buy castle infrastructure three, probably with the, these advances, or that might by that time it might be ready to finish on its own. We'll just, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna focus this game on siege equipment and uh, military. Like the one shipbuilding is. You have access to so many bloody ships at one point in this game. I find it to be the most useful technology in the game. Maybe per not, not uh, perhaps in the old gods, uh, the, at the, with the early starting. I find that's probably where it's super important, but I haven't bought it yet. We'll do that for another Let's Play later. Well, look at that! It's about fucking time. I didn't swear there, so uh, there's no adult content required. Alright, so it's going to cost us 66 gold, we got it, it's going to cost us the 100 prestige, uh, and we get a strong claim on the county of Glamorgan. Of course we're going to take it, had we not wanted to, we could let it go for 10 piety. How about no, we need to get our troops going, so we're going to reassign this guy, because good job buddy, and we're going to go start working on his neighbor, but for now... It's time for a world world of hurt here. Well, I'm I can offer him vassalization, but you can tell he really just doesn't want to uh, work for me. Time to kick his ass, or will he kick mine? That could be a bad scene. I only have twelve hundred and forty-five to play with here. Let's see what happens. Oh, this could be a fun fight. Look at that. Alright. If combat takes place there, I'm in trouble. This could be bad. I might not win this one. So we're going to put our ruler away and send in the toughest three. And we're going to hope for the best here. This could be tight. He's gonna get a uh, a bonus for being there. Is he coming straight at me? He is. Well, maybe we're gonna get the bonus. There we go. Let's see if this worked in our favor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're losing. Let's slow it down. Let's watch. It. Let's watch our demise. Alright, this could suck. This now here's here's where things could get saucy. Alright, so I'm gonna spend seventy five gold to hire these mercenaries. They cost seven gold a month to serve to uh to maintain. So I can pay for them for a month and a half. Then they could turn on me. But I have to beat this. I need this one. I it sucks that I'm losing it. Right, I've only regained that much. This is where we're gonna switch him back to this. Ooh, oh, we could be in trouble. We need monies too, so we're gonna help do that. We're gonna increase increase the amount of money we get out of there. These could be good things. These could be helpful, helpful things. So let's see what happens. Uh, oh, well, let's gain a little extra money real quick. We can delay for a while. We can delay. We still have 703 troops here. Let's increase the speed a little. Alright. We are going to hope we can regain faster than he does. And we're just going to pump a little extra cash out. Just a little extra cash out quick. That helps. Alright, so that's uh, this happens a lot specifically when you have your martial uh, training troops is he'll get an increased uh, an increased levy reinforcement rate and right now that seems like a blessing from whatever uh, oh right we fight for the Christian God uh, that feels like a blessing from the Christian God clearly not 
Well then. Come on, team. Can we increase? Can we raise anything otherwise? Yay, an extra 15. Whatever, we'll take them. That actually, for all we know, that could be the difference in this. And we'll combine those two troops real quick. Let's see what continues to happen here. See, he might lose some troops here. Right now we do have the advantage, but he does have a defensive advantage there. Um, they have 624 troops in there now. He has 701, so that means, as you can see right here and here, uh, that means he will continue to siege me successfully as long as he has more troops than I do defending. So, right now it might be a good idea to prevent him from sieging me further. It's likely I will take him below the amount required. Yeah, there we go. We still lost that fight, as you can see, which is hurting their war score. Should be careful with this. Um, but, as you can see now, it is impossible for him to siege my castle. So, what I'm going to do real quick is now I'm going to play... Oh, crap. That's going to be expensive. i to wait it out. I lost my my cheap, uh, cheap units here. I'm not paying for 880. Oh, he's coming for me. Big bad man's coming for me. Uh, we're... 15 more troops. How about no? Alright, so, we're going to... Retreat them all, because they are okay to do so right now. And we're going to let this guy wander around for a bit. I will promise to arrange it soon, my son. I will give you land as soon as I can. All right, yeah, you retreat back there. Now we're going to re-put our troops back together. So we can almost form another army that will put him back in his place. And these guys are back almost to a 1,000. I'm going to wait it out a little, watch my money go up, which will allow me to sustain them a little longer. But I have to act quickly because this war score is going to go up. As you can see when we click on it, uh, part of the occupation, or the war score is, well right now it's war score, but soon it's because I don't have my target occupied, he's going to gain some back, like some war score for it. So we got to haul ass very soon. Whew, got pasties here, there we go. Ah, uh, who's dead? Who's dead? My sister, oh no. she take a dirt nap? No, nope, natural death. Hold on. No way. She strikes a third time. Damn, woman. Damn, you're 30 years old and you've gone three. And how was this one? Died a natural death. Yeah, I don't believe it. Are you back? You gotta be kidding me. Her kid is now... That's fantastic. Do we have a... No. Where is she? Is that her? That's hilarious. That is hilarious. My granddaughter that way. Courtesy of Triple Killer. And... My God. That daughter. She is lethal. Three dudes in the ground. Three! I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I need to win this. All right. All right, we're gonna raise my personal troops. And now we can afford to buy them. So, I'm gonna leave my vassals where they are so they don't get pissed off at this. I'm gonna move all my troops down here. That's my first grandson? No, my second. With the, oh, wow, that one's old. Who's his aunt? 
least she was Welsh. At least she was Welsh. Let him rot, my nephew. All oh, right, he's got claims. He can stay right where he is. All right. So we're just gonna deter him, deter him from moving anywhere. All right, move them all together. Let's go hunting for Glamorgans. Are we gonna catch him? Yeah, there we go. Come on, don't fail me now. Look at those numbers drop. There we go. We're winning. All right. So let's go put that troop out of his misery real quick. My niece wants someone. I don't care about my niece. They don't give us any points anywhere. Finish that troops, dude. Finish him. Catch him and kill him. Thank you. So, uh, you can... One thing you'll notice is, uh, for example, right now I click there and it, it, it tells, says it's going to go down to Powys. Then if I click on Glamorgan instead, it's going to take the, ob the first obvious route to it. Uh, but let's say I wanted to approach a different route because if it I wanted to go here. But instead I wanted to cross that route. I have that option. If I click on this one and then click shift and click on the next target down here in Hereford, then it will go where I tell it to. As you can see. When you can push it. Oh, it makes it go all stupid kinds of ways. Look at that. And then you want to tell it to go over to York. Yeah. But if you tell it just I want it to go to York, you click on York and it would go there. So, however, we want to go back into Glamorgan, so we're going to tell it to go to that, go through that six little piece of crap army, and then go in for the kill. War score is at minus eight. Let's see what we can do for finishing moves here. All right, keep it rolling, lads. Keep it rolling. Ah, another kid has come of age. Grandson. Right, right, right. That's the first one. And he turned out to be a skilled tactician. So we have the potential in two rulers from now to have a, a pretty ballsy, balls-to-the-wall uh, fighter here. So that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll see what happens here. Ah, the Queen of France has plopped out another one. So my grandson is the heir to France. Decent. Decent. We're gonna have Mathra Falls everywhere. Long live the Welsh lane. Here we go. Alright, so we've started to siege. We're losing troops, but so are they. Well, we're losing them quicker. And I can't afford this this long. Sorry, boys. You guys gotta come play. Move it on down. I didn't want to bring them into the fight, but I have to have them out. So apparently now I can give it to them. I'm not quite sure what has changed there. No, it still won't let me. Huh. Oh, the only one I can give him is the one that he's entitled to. So, we'll have to delay it, get him, make him a little pissed off at me. But lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, welcome to the Catch-22. Huh. Ugh. So, I only have a little less than 400 troops on the field there. I just have a little over 300, rather. <laughs> uh, sieging their thing, their their, uh, their capital. And they've got a thousand troops defending. Where this kicks me in the butt is a thousand, 1,115 of my troops here. 
are mercenaries that cost me a great deal of money. I can take my claim on Gwent, which is going to cost me 44 gold, leaving me 8 left. I don't know when he would be successful again, and I need that claim. So what to do, what to do? I can't necessarily make the assault yet, but soon, soon, I might have to. Let's just hope we're successful quickly. Okay, so he's successful down there again. We're going to move him off to die fed to finish off the job of rounding off my claims down here. Let's, uh, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the quick best. No, why would we select anything? Well, I guess if we're playing from a role-playing perspective, we could try to get the paranoid tactic. And it does some good things somewhere, I'm sure. I'm just never one to grab the, uh, the statistic. Uh, and trusting isn't necessarily that good either. You know, you lose the intrigue thing, which means plots are probably easier to be pulled off against you. Either way, let's keep it. Uh, let's keep this gravy train rolling. And uh, we've got about ten minutes left here, so uh, let's see what what happens with this first fight. Let's combine them all together and hope for the damn best. All right, we gotta watch the money. We gotta watch the money. So my current son is a, uh, not for one. I rule the petty kingdom. Damn right I do. Who's Tudor? Just some crap. Get the hell out of here, buddy. You're useless to me. Make my uh, son happy. Six. We're down to six. We're down to six. We're up to seven. We're watching our money. We're down to four. This is where it gets dicey, folks. Cause oh, oh, look at that dirtiness. I don't want to be that that indebted for that long, so we're going to let that one go. That was, uh... That sucks, because that's a good one. That was so quick. So you can see how quick the uh, the difference in speed on how they come. So, oh, I wish we had more money right now. But it already hurts, so I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to take the 20 piety, because that, that's no slouching number either. That's free 20 points. Piety's helpful. All right, watching the money, watching the money. You know what? Go for broke, boys. Scale those walls. Whoa! We're losing, so we've got... Uh, really? I've been excommunicated? You're a douche. So as you saw, mercenaries aren't that great at scaling walls. Uh... So much that they all just ran away. No, 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 that's right. How much of them do I have? Oh, I lost 200. Sheesh. Okay. They're still expensive. Come on. Funding. We can still win this thing. Like, this is just one of those tedious things. We may have to hold them at bay. With our crappy... Oh, we're so close. Come on. Take it, take it, take it. This is going to be risky business. Risky, risky business. Come on. So close. So poor. So close. Oh, that could... That could increase the monthly enough just to balance out the payments. Oh, he's so close. Oh, we can't do anything else about it. Son of a bitch. Ah! Alright, come on, come on, come on. Well, I think we're gonna take it. I think we're gonna take it. Oh, we're, we're at zero. And we took it. Alright. Whew! That was financially close. Alright, so you can see now we're at a percentage of 27. And this is just a slow whittle to success from here on in on this fight. Uh, so, what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm going to 
call it here for this uh, episode. I'm going to upload it right away, and then I'm going to continue on to the next one. And I'm going to show you how to maintain... Uh, hopefully we're going to switch up our, our laws there to uh, maintain a nice smooth transition into the next generation. Because uh, that becomes a talent that... Uh, you can manipulate for some really great score points with uh, with revolts uh, and rebellions, like a uh, like succession crisis, the game likes to call it. Uh, so we can show you how to set up for some pretty awesome succession crises, and uh, we'll see what happens uh, coming up next, because ruler's getting old. Anyway, thanks for uh, anyone tuning in, and remember this uh, game is complicated as hell, we're all technically stupid, you'll see I've missed a ton of things. But we all learn every time we play. So pass it on to somebody else uh, if you learn something from this. We'll see you next time.